Hey robot friends, so obviously today's a little unplanned. It's a little disappointing, but we're gonna do what we do best, which is adapt anyways. So right now we're currently working on coding sensors, and sensors can be a little challenging to code. Most of you have been doing well, so I thought today would be kind of an extension activity that'll work pretty good with what we've been doing. So first and foremost, I want you to go over here to Google Chrome, and open up Google Chrome and I'm already there but let me show you how to get there go to your bar make code.org okay you click on that that's a Microsoft virtual coding environment for a lot of different programs so right now we've got micro bits Minecraft some arcade but we want to go here to Lego Mindstorms we're gonna click on this so click on that and that's going to open up a bunch of things now you can do projects you can do new projects you probably remember this from the start of the year we played with it a little bit we had some of these things but we want to scroll down and we want to get to ultrasonic sensor tutorials so i want you to click object near now when you click this this is going to walk you through a tutorial now what I'd like you to do is while you're doing this just be sure to take screenshots once in a while to kind of show that you're doing it or a screencast to your final project but I go to start tutorial and I click on it and it's gonna load for me now it gives it to you in scratch and it says the digital ultrasonic generate sound waves reads their echoes right we talked about this it's kind of like a bat and you plug it into one of your numbers so this is going to walk you through and it's going to give you each of the steps so right now we've got like step one is the very first one you press ok ok and it gives you the hints so you can walk through it so i can go next so right now it's telling me open the variables toolbox drawer pull a set item to block in the workspace place it on the forever block so i go down here to variables see it says open variables stick in the forever block forever so I go variables oh, make a variable interesting I think that was our first one nearness there we go so now it gives me a set item two. I'm going to put that here. So you'll see what I did is I created a variable. So I went into variables and you can make your own variable. It can be whatever you want it to be. I can make another variable called away. And that's going to do those set away nearness. You get the idea. So now I go to next. I click next. Go to the set item two click on the variable name that drops down rename variable rename the variable to nearness see i knew that was going to happen so i've already named it nearness but you can rename the variable whatever you want we want to keep it as nearness and then it's going to walk you through the rest of the things open the sensors drag the ultrasonic out use it to replace the nearness block hmm, sounds good so now i go to sensors ultrasonic sensor and I drag it out and it says okay open the sensors toolbox drawer drag the ultrasonic and put it where the zero is boom and it puts it right in there and it even shows me here's my little sensor it's plugged into number four so it's going to kind of walk you through Get an if then statement from the logic drawer and place it below set nearness to find the zero zero condition block to replace the true value. Hmm, that sounds complicated. Let's see. Get an if then from logic. So I go to logic if then. Hmm. So let's drag this out. We put it there. Find the zero zero conditional block. Hmm. Oh. Zero, zero conditional block replace the true if then hey now you go there neat 
Sounds good. Showing me some more stuff. Go to my next step. The zero, zero, put the nearness variable from the variables drawer in the first slot, change the value of zero in the second slot to 50. That sets our value. So now, watch this. So I click on zero. Nearness goes there. So what we're doing is we're basically telling the robot forever loop set nearness variable to ultrasonic 4. If I change ultrasonic 4 to 2, see it changes it over there to 2. If I change it to 1, it's going to change it to 1. So we're saying forever nearness is the ultrasonic slot 1 distance. If nearness is less than 50 then. This is a little different than how we code for our current way because our scratch blocks are a tiny bit different, a little more updated than this, but it's still the same logic. So I feel like this is a useful tool. So I go to next, get a show value block from the brick, put it inside the if then, set the string to distance, get another nearness. Whew, that sounds like a lot of stuff, but that's okay. Go get a show value from the brick. Hmm. Put it inside the if then. Okay. Set the string in the first little distance to distance. And so I'm typing in here. Get another nearness and drop it in the second slot. Boom. Nearness, second slot. Okay. So go to the show value block from the brick, put it inside the if then. So we got that. We put it if then. We set this to distance cm. I don't need us double quotes. There we go. Okay, seems good. Now let's add a sound effect when something is near. In the music drawer, get a play sound effect just below show value. Ooh! Ch -ch 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 -ch. Play sound effect. Okay. I think we're going to change that. In the play sound effect, drop down to select the information detected sound effect. Information. Active. Analyze. Detected. detected. There we go. To give a little time to see the message, put a pause after the play sound effect block. Change the time from 100 to 1500 milliseconds. Pull out a clear screen and put it after the pause. Woo, that's a lot of stuff, but that's okay. We're getting there. So we go here, we say pause. Change the time from 1500 milliseconds. Let's do from 5 to 0 milliseconds. Pull out a clear screen and put it after the pause. Oh no, that's light blue. There it is, clear screen. Boom. So now we're telling it show the distance. At line one, play the sound effect, information detected, pause for a second, clear the screen. So look, here's my object. So now I'm going to slide it closer. Watch what happens when it gets closer than 50. Detected. Detected. See? Detected. Detected. And then as soon as I move it out. Oh, and then I move it closer again. Detected. Oh. Detected. Detected. Pretty sweet. Looks like my code's working. 
Now plug your brick. We don't have to do that part because we don't have a brick to plug and you are done. So that's your first code that works on it, telling it if something's close. So it's a little different than our current coding, but I think it works pretty well. So I'd like you to do that one and you saw how I walked you through it. So now if we go back to home and you scroll down to ultrasonic sensor, like I just did, I would love it if you would also do the tutorial for wall follower. So these are two tutorials that'll walk you through. Okay, so you'll do this one just like the thing I just did, where you walk it through. Okay, and you're going to do all these codes. Make sense to everybody? Hopefully you're pretty good. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Good luck. Stuff's crazy. Be safe. We'll be fine. All right, you guys. I will see you later. Bye.